Interesting facts about the Bible, part 65. Did you know that cleanliness is next to godliness really is in scripture? Of course, the exact phrase isn't used, but oftentimes before the Lord came down to the people, they would not only have to make themselves spiritually clean, but also physically clean as well. For example, in Exodus 19, 10 through 11, it says, Adonai said to Moses, go to the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow. Let them wash their clothing, for on the third day Adonai will come down upon Mount Sinai in the sight of the people. We also see in Deuteronomy 23, starting at 11, when Israel would camp against an enemy. If a man had a nighttime emission, he would have to stay outside of the camp until the next evening, where he would have to bathe with water in order to come back into the camp. The people also had to go outside of the camp to use the bathroom. Then they would have to bury it. It says this is because the Lord walks in the camp and it must be holy. So cleanliness is linked with holiness. In fact, most people don't realize that a baptism is a ritual bath called a mikvah in Hebrew. These baths were commanded by Adonai to cleanse oneself after certain bodily functions or diseases made someone ceremonially unclean. After a woman's period, she would have a mikvah. After a man and woman made love, they would have to have a bath. If someone had leprosy and was healed of it, they would have to have a mikvah and present themselves to the priests. Being unclean had to do with any emission from the body or disease because this could spread to others. So even before germ theory was a thing, Adonai had already commanded the Israelites to clean themselves with water and avoid bodily fluids. This actually protected the Jews during the bubonic plague, more evidence of the divinity of the Bible. If someone was unclean, they could not enter into the temple and they could not go before Adonai. So when one decides to follow Messiah, they have to be made clean before Adonai. This mikvah is the baptism that shows we are cleansed by Messiah and ready to come before the Father. This is why it is typically done at the beginning of our relationship with Him.